What's the deal? Big Boss, K-Po, here top box. And look, L. Spence is focused, laser sharp focused. I ain't seen him this focused in a long time. Like, since, I'm talking about the old era. Like, I'm talking about old era before the accident, before the belts era, that era. This is the L. Spence I'm seeing. This nigga focused. He hungry, bro. Now, don't get it twisted. Bud is too. I just think, in my opinion, not saying I'm right, L. Spence is more hungrier. L. Spence normally trains at home and goes home to his family. L. Spence normally, if he fight in another city, he'll go out there the week of the fight. This nigga in Vegas already, three weeks out. Right? Three weeks out, he already in Vegas. That's number one. He's staying at an Airbnb, not at his house. Number two. Right? Like, this nigga, and then he doing extra rounds on the mitts. That's number three. He's doing extra rounds on the mitts. Like, 40 rounds. You know what I mean? Like, he's giving it his all in this fight. He really want to win, bro. And I grant it, he's doing what he's supposed to do. He's going in there with a top guy like Terrence Crawford, right? Regardless of what we think of his resume, he's a top fighter at welterweight, right? I got L1A, Bud 1B, top fighter. L got to bring it, right? And I think L going to bring it. I think L Spence going to break Terrence Crawford. This the Terminator era that I seen before the accident. The one that's just relentless. This what I this this is what I see. I think L. Spence is gonna be able to break him down, right? Bud gonna have some success in the fight. Not, I, I'm telling you, but I just think L. Just gonna L. Gonna cut it up. He gonna cut it up, and he gonna just he gonna start punishing Bud. I'm telling I'm telling you this. This is what I see. He's going to start punishing him. And there's nothing Bud going to be able to do about it. L. Spence, I mean, uh, Terrence Crawford has not fought a fighter that punch like L. Spence. That has the power. He ain't fought no punchers. You know what I mean? Bud normally hits harder than everybody he faced. That's real talk. He find a dude that has just as much more power than him or is equivalent. No, Bud has a different type of power. He has explosive power. Errol has thudding power. That he hits you, it hurt. You know what I'm saying? It don't knock you out, but it hurts. It's like, what the fuck? People who ain't boxed before don't know what the fuck that is. So they're going to sit here and say, oh, man, you L ain't knocking people up. You act like people L knocking people up with one punch. Bud knock people up with one punch. Oh, 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 oh y'all. No, bitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God forgive me. Uh, I didn't mean to say that. All I'm saying is at the end of the day, L Spence is focused. He hungry. He wants this. This the last belt. That's all he need. He sat out the ring waiting on this nigga. Y'all don't understand. This nigga sat out the ring to try to make this fight happen. Terrence Crawford made this nigga sit out the ring, right? Errol wanted to fight this dude. The dude pulled out the first negotiations. Then the second one, Bud talking about he the ace. He been talking about this the whole time. I've done this in my career. I've done that. I fought Gamboa. Bro, what the fuck does that got to do right now? Gamboa don't fight at 147. Y'all Bud Buddies and Bud be killing me with that. Oh, well he, he fought Gamboa. Nigga, who is he fought at 147 pounds? This is not 135. If they were fighting at 135 pounds, I'd give you that. I'd be like, all right, cool. He fought Gamboa. Granted, it was 10 years ago, but he fought Gamboa. Whatever. And I and I may be over-exaggerating with the years. All I'm saying is it was a while ago. That's all I'm saying. So at the end of the day, spade a spade. You can't 
use that for this situation. You have not sold more than Arrow. And that's what it is. You ain't fought who he fought. That's just facts. That's the truth. We have to deal with reality is. Right? The smoke is here. Go get it. And thanks to Errol Spence, this fight was able to be delivered. Right? He was able to get Bud to be like, all right, yeah, I'll fight. Errol gave, and this is nothing. Errol gave this nigga money out his own purse or whatever. Pocket, whatever it was. He gave the nigga money. Like, here, okay, here, you can have that too. Because I think it was guaranteed money that Bud wanted. Errol gave it to the nigga. Here you go. Here you go, bro. That's your money. Let's get this shit cracking. I'm telling y'all, man. Then Bud trying to fight Errol Coach. I'm telling you. Errol is going to break his wheel and break bone on Terrence Crawford. I'm telling you this. I understand some of y'all don't believe it. Y'all bud buddies don't see it because y'all like, this is Terrence Crawford. Bah! He came up for 135. Bah! He's knocking out everybody. Bah! But y'all creating this false narrative that that's not there. That was created by Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford, all these narratives that y'all bringing up, Terrence created those narratives. Nobody's saying that shit. Nobody's sitting there saying that, oh, man, we don't think. Terrence Crawford's been a favorite in all his fights. I can I can name damn near a lot of fights that Errol has fought where they didn't pick against him to win the fights. All the fights, Terrence Crawford's the favorite. He just created narratives for himself. I think he created for him to be motivated by. Because he wants that Floyd Mayweather hate you know what I'm saying? And I got to give my credit. Boxer Ego, the first one who put this net, this this vision out as far as like Terrence Crawford wants, he thinks he's Floyd Mayweather. He think he wants that like aura, like Floyd, like, oh, they just hating on me. You know, they said this and this, that, when I fought this fighter and I beat him. Bro, nobody's saying that. Each fighter you fight, we know you're going to beat them. You know what I mean? This the first fight you done fought where we like, I don't know if you're going to beat him. Damn near all Terrence fights that I've seen, that I watched, I was like, Terrence going to win. This the first fight that I went against Terrence Crawford. Well, I was just like, a hundred. Now, the, the Porter fight, it could have went either way. I think I I, I chose Terrence e either way. I'm not sure in that fight. But all I'm saying is damn near all the other, other fights, I picked Terrence. So Terrence is going to be. When he when he got in there with Jeff Horn, Terrence. When he got in there with Jose Benavidez Jr., Terrence. When he got in there with Mean Machine, Terrence. When he got in there with Amir Khan, Terrence. When he got in there with Kell Brook, washed up Kell Brook, Terrence. He got in there Sean Porter. I was like, mm, if he do this, he can win this fight. But I can see where Sean Porter can win this fight. And I think I chose Terrence anyway. But I said, Porter, it's not going to be easy. And it wasn't easy. This the first fight where I was like, man, I got Errol. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, man, Errol. I've seen what Errol Spence can do. And this nigga focused too. Uh, even an unfocused Errol Spence is dangerous. The L Spence that would balloon up in weight was dangerous. This nigga ain't ballooning up in weight. He got nutritionist. He taking care of his body. He had to deal with all the shit you had to bring. All right. I got another video later to talk about the disrespect of L Spence. I think it's going to be part eight. And this man is going to be talking about Earl Spencer's IQ, how it's disrespected. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Boss gone.